We are live. Great. Welcome, 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 Anita. So I'm here with our wealthy goddess of the month, Anita Thomas. I'm so excited to have you here. Thank you. Thank know, you. Just, I'm very proud of what you've done and how you've shown up in this program, um, both in both in terms of results, but also your commitment and your sisterhood. And just I've seen how you show up for the other. So I'm really excited to feature you this month. I'm very um, happy and glad that I can, uh, I was able to do this because I'm definitely um, a cheerleader for this program. And I, I want to spread the word. Oh, thank you. So tell me, what were your real estate investing goals when you joined the program? Well, when I joined the program, I wanted to, I mean, I, you know, I had this, I wanted to create a legacy for my family and I kind of started that, but, and I wanted to create financial freedom for myself so that I could be living my best life, not waiting, but living it now. Mm -hmm. And I was retired, but um, I don't really, didn't really feel like I had a real community of people that I could talk about some of the things that I was thinking because their thinking was, you know, that's too much or, you know, you know, just slow down. And, and mm -hmm. I'm like, no, I'm, you know, I, I want to, I want to see things happen. And so, um, and a lot of that I was coming from, you know, men who want to, you know, family members and agents and people who are just want to think they're helping you but they're not mm. and I decided I wanted to and and I you know I told you this before I saw you on a podcast I really liked what I heard and it's like that's it that's what's wrong I'm talking to the wrong with the to the wrong sex I'm talking to too many men and not talking to you know and I grew up with um six well five aunts my mom died when I was 18 and they um they kind of instilled in all of us girls that you know we could do things and we didn't have to wait for husbands and brothers or anybody to kind of do it in fact they were the ones who were leading the way so i said you know i'm i'm talking to the wrong people <laughs> mm. so you your your program um it was like divine intervention it really mm. was I love that. And I love this background of having these, basically your goddess aunts mm -hmm. that were uh, leading the way. And, and I, I think, at least, I know at least one of them I've heard was a real estate investor yeah. goddess herself. She yeah, yeah, yeah. Real estate. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, Anne Helen was everybody's Anne Helen. She, you know, it, it's like she helped so many people go to college. She helped, you know, people go to grad school. She helps, you know, one of my cousin's kids uh, go to law school, pay for, you know, for her to go to law school. I mean, she helped down payments on houses, but pretty much anybody in my family who wanted to own a house. And she, you know, so, you know, I just, I'm, I'm one now, I have one pass away this past August. Um, and so now it's my turn to be be on Anita who gets there. yeah right right <laughs> well one of them I mean there's and there's others of us who but yes it's like it's our turn now it's my turn to be that person and Aunt right. Helen built her her fortune through real estate she built it mostly through um um uh the stock market but she helped it you know, it's funny, she built her money in the stock market because that's what she, you know, she learned early on. Um, and, uh, but everybody else um, that she helped, I mean, she helped them too get started in the stock market and taught, taught us how to invest. But then, you know, she started, I saw that the real wealth was coming from the investment in homes, you know, really like help my, she helped my grandparents to to buy their first home and to live to see it paid off and then you know I started seeing how that 
and you know talking to her that's that was always the first thing you get out of school and you buy a house and so I, that was like before you even did the stock market thing but she just continued with the stock market because she had good success with it and she understood it better than i do um so um yeah i love that so tell me about some of the results you've had during the real estate investor guys program Okay, so I started, <laughs> yeah, I, this was like a, a birthday present to myself. Um, I've always, I, you know, I was an educator, well, always will be, but um, I believe in educating and like to never stop learning. So, and to spend money for it is not like an issue to me, like I'm, it's an investment another type of investment. So my birthday, um, November, um, I decided, you know, that's when I had seen your uh, interview in October. And so I said, oh, you know what, for my birthday, I'm going to do something big for myself. And so I bought into the program. Um, and so that was my birthday present. Um, and uh, since then, I have, um, well, with the help of my I, Helen again. I helped my daughter to purchase. Uh, I gave her, her. I was able to give her the down payment for her, um, for her home. She um, was living. She had a condo, but she wanted to buy a house. I helped her to do that. So that was my first thing to be able to do that. To just you know, give be able to you know say here you know how much you need here. I gave it to her. Um, that was such an amazing feeling. Um, then I bought with some, uh, with my daughter, I bought a, um, house in, uh, Georgia, um, recently, which we are going to, we're having some work done at, and where my plan is to rent it to college students at Mercer University. Um, then, um, I have had a duplex or have a duplex here in, LA and I wasn't making the kind of return I needed and I decided that uh to sell it so I hey that happened <laughs> so I it, it it's uh in escrow um I'm real happy about that I'm going to take the proceeds and do a 1031 and um my first I was like going to just pay cash for a uh, vacation rental to rent and you know because i i'm interested in cash flow because i'm you know i am retired so mm -hmm. i'm kind of like want to create some income um but then i decided you know what i think i'm gonna take it and divide it up and just put down a healthy down payment and i'm going to diversify i'm going to get a property on this coast and then i'm gonna buy i just talked to two agents today one is um and these are people that I met through your, um, well, contacts who connected me with these people through your program. They're mm -hmm. women and they understand what I'm trying to do and my rationale and my goal. And so I have um, spoke to somebody in Saratoga, Florida and somebody in Myrtle Beach because I was on vacation in Myrtle Beach last week. And I was like, wow, you know, it's like, I never really thought about Myrtle Beach. Um, but that's a big, that's a, a big market there. So mm -hmm. I've spoke to people there and I also have my agent um, who's looking in uh, Phoenix for me. So I'm looking at those three markets right now and I'm sure I'm gonna come up with it at least two, um, two places that I wanna purchase. And, you know, so that's, that's kind of what I'm, I'm working towards oh this is you know it's like I thought about this um and I consider it I'm this is a brag for me um I had two tenants in my place in LA um we have rent control so but they agreed to move out and I said you know I regardless if I had to or not I um I'm give, I gave them the maximum amount that I had to or I thought I should for them moving out so I paid their relocation fees and um, um and uh, so 
yeah, I consider that, you know, to be able to do that is really not going to hurt me. It's yeah. not, you know, but it's going to help me because I feel like they've been so appreciative of, and they've been good tenants and they feel like, you know, I've treated them fairly and they, uh, they've been with me for years and um, they basically have been paying off this house. Um, so it, to me, it's kind of like, you know, yeah, I'm giving, I'm giving back and I'm going to profit from that. I know I yeah. am. So, I like um, and, um, and then the biggest thing is that I realized, you know, I was a teacher, I have a pension, but I'm making more money now than I ever made in a year teaching. There you so are. I'm making more <laughs> money. I mean, if I would have known that I probably would have done some things differently, you know, because I, my, t uh, my, um, my tax, the money that I have in tax shelters and things like that, I didn't pay taxes on it. If I would have known I was going to make more money, I would have paid the taxes then instead of paying <laughs> them now, because now I'm making my, I'm making more money. So it's, it's like, I'm, if I really wanted to, I could just stop and I could live it better than what I was living before wow. but you know so that's I mean so I don't you're not even to worry. financial freedom financial freedom yeah. would have been getting to your expenses paid for you're beyond where you were yeah. <laughs> before. I mean I'm not I mean I'm not wealthy but for mm -hmm. me I'm I am wealthy so in that yeah. <laughs> I have you know I have I have peace of mind I have peace yeah. of mind I I I get up and I'm going, yay, it's, a, it's another, to me, every day is, is Saturday. You know, every day is week is a weekend, is a holiday. And I love this life. And I'm like, gosh, you know, if I, I just, I just, I'm so grateful for everything that I have. It really, it's just amazing to me. And, you know, that, we, you know, we're capable of so much more than what we, what we think we are. That's yeah incredible. so and i think that makes you incredibly wealthy because yes. wealthy is more than just what's in the bank i mean first of all you have more than enough right enough to be generous and to and to live even better than you were when you were trading your time for money and oh. you wake up every day going we this is like <laughs> it's like a holiday it that is wealth, I think, when you're that, you know, you wake up happy with your life and you get to do what you want with whom you want when you want. That's it's freedom. A, that's it is that's, freedom. Yeah, I say I I'm fired. I I fired my job. You know, <laughs> I'm you know, fine. I'm a financially free um individual investor goddess. And you know, I I I don't. I don't use like the word retirement because I'm not re, I'm not tired. I'm not, you know, I'm just like, I'm living the life You're that fired. I'm <laughs> You're fired up. Yeah. <laughs> fired up. Yeah. I love it. So what did you, what have you appreciated most about being part of the program? Um, uh, it, you know, for me, it, it's the sisterhood number one. Um, like I said, I, I'm like, I'm a person that I like people around me who are positive, who are um, inspiring, who, you know, are seeing the glass half full and in all areas. And, and I'm also, you know, spiritually, I, that's, that's, that's the way I want to live my life. Mm -hmm. And so that I find that the people in the program have been like that for me. They, you know, are uplifting and they're doing stuff. And it's, it, it's like when I see somebody else win, I feel like, wow, you know, it makes me, it's not competition. It's just like, I'm just like, wow, that's, that it can be done. Cause if somebody else has done it, it can be done. So I love seeing the, you know, other women um, being successful. And being part of that makes me feel more successful. So, and the pods, I love the pods. We've talked about that. I love the pods because it makes me, motivates me and it, and it challenges me to keep my word to myself and to others when I committed to doing something that day. So those are the, 
I mean, there are a lot of things, um, but those are the two I would say number one. Mm, love that. And what did you learn from the program that you didn't know before? Um, I guess, well, first thing was that women think differently <laughs> about investing. And like I said, I don't feel like I'm in competition and I don't feel like people are trying to put me in a competition. Like sometimes, you know, with men, it was like, yeah, but you could do this and you could do, you know, you could do this so much, you know, but, you know, it's, it's even with like my, my properties in LA, you know, there are people who would like, well, you don't really probably have to pay them all of that. Um, if you, if they move out on their own, you know, but it's like, I hear that more from men than from women trying to encourage me to take a shortcut or to yeah. do something that doesn't it's not like it's not ethical it's just like it doesn't feel it's not doesn't feel right for me in my soul it doesn't feel yeah. right I don't want to do that and I find that women seem to understand overall seem to understand that a little bit better yeah um and um yeah that's the and, and that I'm, I'm not alone, that, you know, um, I don't have to do it alone. Sometimes, you know, like I said, with men, I like, I didn't feel like I really had a lot of people. I have a couple of people I could talk to, but it's like when I'm on a call or if I want some help now, I got a whole sisterhood of people. Some of them I don't know that well, but, you know, I've been on a pod with them or I met them at the conference. And I, you know, I called up um, one of the speakers, Amanda, about the um, about the um, vacation rentals, and she said she remembered me and all that because we talked. But you know, within ten minutes, she had sent me the names of two agents who specialize in this, and you know, I, you know, talked to both of them. So you know that for me was like being able to get that kind of support. It was, yeah. it's pretty amazing. I love it. What do you now know that you think has made the biggest difference for you? Um, yeah, you know, like I said, that's okay to ask for help and you don't have to do it solo. Um, yeah, that, um, and um, you know, that there are people who really want to help you and that I can help other people too. You know, it's like, yeah. it's kind of nice to be able to say, you know, well, and what can I do for you? What can I, you know, and somebody, if somebody were to call me up and they didn't know me, but they say they're a goddess, then my first response is, how can I help you? What can I do for you? Because that's what I get when I talk to another goddess. So that's, yeah. that's pretty awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I love that. So what is one piece of advice that you would like to give a woman who's at the beginning of her journey with real estate investing? I, I do this so often, like, don't wait, take action, start now. It's never too early. It's never too late. Uh, invest in yourself, get the knowledge and, you know, and don't wait, just start, even if it's a baby step, but take some steps, get started. Don't wait. Yeah. That was, was great advice. What is your, um, what is your next big real estate investing goal or life goal? Um, the next thing is, um, I want to get back. I was traveling internationally before COVID. And so my birthday in November, that's my goal this year, is to make, take a big trip. My daughter and I, we were doing that every year before COVID. And so she's, um, she's in charge of kind of, but next place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, she says it's going to be, a, she's, she's got ideas. So I know it's going to be a good one and I'm looking forward to that and to buy a second home. Um, you know, I, I do have a place here in LA, but, um, once everything is settled, I, um, I've been telling my family for years that I was going to buy a house in Atlanta. And uh, so I wanted to do that. I want to, I want to buy a house in the South. That's going to be like, I can split my time between LA and the South. Love it. 
And would you recommend the Wealthy Goddess program? And if so, why? Absolutely, definitely would recommend the program. I think, as I said, I believe in investing in your education and that knowledge is power. Um, and um, I think that anybody who invests in the program, you know, don't look at the initial outlay of money, look at the returns. And um, the women in this program, um, the mentorship, the, the, the inspiration and the support is, and the cheerleaders who, you know, are just gonna be there for you is just, it's amazing. And I mean, that's, there, that's, there's so much value in that, that, you know, I know people get scared because, you know, they're, you know, that they, they're thinking, you know, that's, that's whatever. It doesn't matter if it's $500 or $5,000. That's like, to, you know, they're thinking, well, that's a lot of money, but don't think about it as investing in your future. And so for me, I think um, it's, it's a worthy investment. The resources, connections and things that you're gonna get are gonna be well worth it. Yeah. How have you been able to get your investment back? <laughs> I, oh, yeah. yeah, I think so. Because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've been talking about selling this place for like a year and a half. And, you know, after watching people um, do some of the things, I just said, you know what, I, I'm not gonna, I'm just, I'm ready. I'm Let me do this. Let me move forward on this. And so, yeah. Um, and like I said, I, I mean, I, some of the things I would have done, but I don't think I would have done as much and I, as quickly. And so, yeah, I got them, I got my returns back already. Amazing. And, uh, and in the process, I've met so many incredible women who, you know, I see, I have, um, I'll keep connected to, um, you know, I have friends now who I consider people who are, you know, I consider them friends yeah. and uh, I said that, you know, so there's a lot of value. You have a, you have a lifetime membership too in the sisterhood. So it's, it's a, yes, I know. the, the dividends will continue to pay off, right? Yeah. Beautiful. So we're going to end with the Trinity. It's the brag of gratitude and desire. So what is what, what are you celebrating? What's one brag? Um, I recently had, you know, several family members and my friends and my tenants who have all told me that I've inspired them because of what they've seen. You know, they they know my whole story <laughs> and, you know, uh, they know all a lot of the chapters, you know, so it hasn't all been, you know, it hasn't all been easy or fast or anything like that, but they've seen where I've gone and they they said that it's inspired them and encouraged them to to want to do more and mm -hmm. and if I did if I feel like just even one of them you know moves forward on achieving their goals that to me it would be that's that's a win that I just will you know I like that as much as my myself winning and um well bragged and you yeah. are an inspiration so and it looks like in less than a year well it's only since november right so you, you bought this multi-family and then you're selling one and then you're buying two or three more <laughs> um, so you're very inspired yeah yeah and what are you yeah. grateful for i for the women in my life um especially in my family um because i know that um you know a lot of things that i've done i wouldn't have done if i if it hadn't have been an aunt helen and hadn't have been all these different my grandmother and um you know like i said um i just watching them when my mom died um how they came together and supported my brothers and i and you know just um and then you know, just kept encouraging me to, you know, to not settle. And uh, so, yeah, that's my brag. I, I'm, I feel very blessed to be in the family that I'm in. Um, so. And what, and last but not least, what is one desire? 
uh, to stay healthy <laughs> and to uh, be able to continue to um, enjoy the rewards of being financially able to do what I do. And, you know, to I, I mean, I really feel like I'm, I can live in the now. I, I don't have to, I don't have to put off and wait. And, you know, I mean, I can do what I want now. Mm -hmm. And so that's, and that's what I want to do. Just enjoy life. Well, thank you so much, Anita, for being thank here, you. For being such an inspiration, being our wealthy goddess of the month. Hey, thank you. Thank you for doing podcasts and on other people's networks and, <laughs> and for um, and doing what you do, because um, I really feel like um, this program has got me in a much better place than I was a year ago. And I am, I'm very grateful for that too. Very mm -hmm. grateful for you and just the goddesses. Oh, that's my, it's definitely my pleasure. All right. Thank well, you. Thank you. All right. You have a great day, evening. Thank you for allowing me to share what I, my thoughts. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Take care.